Oh. All right, starting, uh, I think, the session number three. Excuse me, can you help me? That depends on what you want. I'm new here. I'm just trying to get a feel for the place. Are you a member? Not yet. What's your name? Luton. Laredo Cronk. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. The pleasure is all mine. Of course it is. So you're a guest, are you? Is that a bad thing? Only in so much as eight out of ten guests who confess to preference stole something before disappearing. I'm not going to steal anything, trust me. Hmm. No, I think you're wrong. You are going to steal something, but don't worry about it. Almost everything the Guild of Archaeologists owns is stolen, and frankly, they should expect people to steal from them. Do you steal from them? Golly, no! I never steal from any building less than a thousand years old, and with really exciting puzzles. <laughs> Yeah, there's kind of like a bit of a glitch in the game right here. The focus should still be on Laredo, but it keeps switching back to this fireplace so, scene. what do you do for a living? I'm a tomb evacuator. And what does that involve? It's a lot of fun. It means breaking into ancient buildings within which no man or woman has walked for thousands of years, apart from whoever it is who leaves all those medical kits, of course, and working my way through fiendish traps and puzzles and eventually stealing some priceless treasure. And do you sell the treasure? Goodness, no! I'm far too well-bred for that. I bring it here, and have to watch as they slam it into a vault that nobody will look in. A vault? Forget I said that. Suffice it to say, the Guild of Archaeologists has a priceless collection of artifacts, but no one gets to see them. Isn't that a waste? Well, nobody said archaeology was rewarding. Why do you do it, then? For the excitement, silly, and the fame. Everyone has heard of Laredo Cronk. I hadn't. Well, most people have. I was on the front cover of Archaeologist Monthly twice last year. I don't read it. Those long words can be so tiresome, can't they? Yeah, that'll be the title of this video. So, what does a tomb evacuator do? Nothing special. I break into places where priceless antiquities have been locked away for centuries, overcome the elaborate and convoluted security systems, defeat my rivals, and make away with the treasure. Typical day's work, really. So, you must be pretty rich, then. Oh, I've got absolutely pots of money. Anyway, the whole thing with the tombs and so on is just a hobby. And of course, it's great for making friends. What? Among fiendish tomb-guarding monsters? No, I kill all those. I meant people are always asking me things like, how do you get to the third ledge in the tomb of Tex-Mex cuisine? What's a walkthrough? Never heard of it. People are always asking me for one. I hope it's nothing to do with sex. Uh, my mind just boggled. Sorry. Broken into anywhere interesting, have you? Well, I knocked over the Grand Temple of Offler several times. Such sillies. Every time they get the Tear of Offler back, I take it. It's getting a bit boring recently. Then there's the Catacombs of Genua and the Temple of Anu Anu at Al Kali. I don't know. It's all a little routine. I'd like to do something new for a change. Ever thought about retiring? I'd love to, but the public seem to want me. You mentioned vaults. I told you to forget I mentioned that. I take it all the treasure that people find is kept in vaults under the guild. I shouldn't discuss that with you since you're only a guest. Worried I'm going to steal something? Worried? No. I'm certain you're going to steal something. I just don't care. Why not? I'm very philosophical about this sort of thing. It's like I said, everything in the guild is stolen. It seems only fitting that someone else should get to steal it back. Assuming they can overcome the traps, of course. Uh, yes, full disclosure. Uh, this is a legit copy of this quote noir for PC. I think. I, I did get it off of Amazon. And the labels look fairly genuine. I think? Does Azeel mean anything to you? The mad Ascari of the Great Neff. 
Ah, yes. I think I raided his tomb a couple of years ago. Didn't get much, frankly, but what I have is down in the vaults. The vaults? Damn. Anyone would think I was trying to encourage you to break into the vaults beneath the guild, where centuries of priceless treasures have accumulated. It's all protected by a hideously complex and brutal security system, isn't it? Hey, you're pretty sharp for a guest. Yes, I designed it myself. You'll like the sawtoothed doors. Can you think of any reason that Mundy might have been hung upside down before he was killed? Sorry, I can't help you with that. <laughs> no animation for that one. <laughs> yes, sir, kind of in a hurry at this point in building the game. Does 3712V mean anything to you? Absolutely. Care to tell me what it means? No, but I promise that the answer is here somewhere in the guild. Why do I not like the way you said that? Probably because you have a strong survival instinct. I don't understand. You will, sooner or later. Mark my words. <laughs> yeah, uh, previous gameplay I was wondering, okay, how am I supposed to know to use that? Then the remember all. Oh, later on, I... That's, that's the clue right there. Let's see. That's wrong way. He originally, the original thinking is to... Uh, people go through all these clues and conversations and you get the hint of what you're supposed to do next. What do you know about a woman named Carlotta? Then no one I've had the pleasure of meeting. Do you know a dwarf named Al Kali? Oh yes, one of Horst's cronies. Well, some of the time. We've sparred with each other a couple of times. What do you make of him? He's a treacherous, rat-like man, and you'd do well to stay away from the likes of him. I couldn't have said it better myself. Do you know Ilsa and Two Conquers? I understand they're members of the Guild. Why, of course. I have a lot of respect for them. Of course. They do all that boring excavation work, which isn't really my thing. Still, someone has to do the boring stuff, I guess. Not everyone can lead an exciting, action-packed life like me. What do you know about the murder of Mount Malachite? Sorry, I can't help you with that. Do you know a troll by the name of Horse? Jasper Horst. Yes, I know him. Horst and I go way back, and I don't mean that in a good way. How do you know Horst? You could say that he and I are rivals. We have this uncanny habit of turning up in the same place at the same time, looking for the same archaic treasure. You sound bitter. Well, I always win, of course. But that doesn't mean I don't resent his interference. Must keep your life interesting, though. Perhaps. I could stand a little less excitement in my life, though. Yeah, this playthrough, I think, going a bit differently than my last one. That one that I keep talking about that I'm not uploading. Well, this time around, I'm not reading from hostile humor. <laughs> you know, like this. Like March 1979 issue. Oh. Round the world. Okay. Bunch of people going through a glass door, looking at a plane, a go through a glass door, carrying bags, and one of them is a very old, haggard looking woman carrying a case that looks like you know what. I've seen it before a few times since then. Uh, let's see. And the doctor's office. Uh, doctor is doing something with a woman's backside. It's all, it's like it's all beaten and sore or something. Next time you visit Europe, I suggest you skip Rome. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, how do you like Alton so far, miss? Yeah, you can guess that one. Oh, that's a good, that's a good one. Uh, got a plane, tip plane. 
a bunch of people holding on to the wing and one guy saying, this is the last time I fly economy by, and I guess that's Dan Collins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the... Oh, we, oh, we've all seen that animal on the wing thing, like Luna and Sailor Moon. Okay, we don't... Jobbers aid desk, we don't care how much you missed their wife, they don't give you that kind of aid. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I should do that. April retusser humor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to the game. Ah, Mr. Luton. It is always a pleasure to see you. I trust you have brought something with you that will be to my liking. I haven't brought you the sword yet, if that's what you mean. I'm a patient troll, sir, but there are limits to my patience. That's one of my things that annoy me about this game is when you, like, Jasper's head, when he's talking, he looks down and then pops right back up and looks down and pops, and it's like, can you, like, Reverse the animation, or maybe he's moving his hand, so why can't you just move his head? A woman named Laredo Crunk is in town. It seems to me that you might know her. Laredo is here in Ankhmorpork? Really? I thought that we had dealt with her in the temples of Tezuman. She is full of surprises, that one. Would you do me a favor, sir, as one friend to another? Perhaps. It depends on the favor. But of course, your prudence continues to speak well of you. I'd like for you to arrange a meeting with Laredo for me. It seems as if I'd be doing you a favor. It seems as if I should be getting something in return. Very well. Arrange this meeting for me, and we can discuss the sword in detail. Do we have an agreement? Works for me. I'll go give her the news. I can't guarantee she'll turn up, though. Oh, she'll come. We have much to discuss. Okay. Uh, something I haven't ever done while playing this game in the past is I tell Laredo about that. And then go back and check uh, horse sit quarters. Got plenty of time. I'm back. Apparently so. I've got a message for you from Horst. Horst is in Ankmore Pork. Absolutely. He wants to meet with you to discuss certain matters arising. Super. I have to say that it's probably a trap. Of course it's a trap. That's what makes it interesting. I'll see you later, Luton. Best of luck. You too. Laredo made her way over to Horst's quarters and didn't look back. I had no idea what the two had to talk about, but I was sure it would lead to a new and exciting adventure, one even more complex and challenging than her last. For the time being, at least, Laredo was out of the way. Or is go check the Horst headquarters. I haven't done that before. I guess Horst was busy with Laredo, because when I went to his quarters, there was no one there. Now to do all this walk in the load the next team. And it walked all the way over there, yeah. No, they couldn't have put it on the table there, and all you gotta put it way in the back, you gotta do all that walking. I heard a faint click. And the next thing I knew, the fireplace was revolving. I won't bore you with the details of the guild's security system. After all, if you've seen one intricate and fatal collection of pits and traps, you've pretty much seen them all. Suffice to say, it took a lot of trial and error, some scorched eyebrows, and more levers than I could count. And that was only within the, like, the first ten feet. I wasn't about to... Up on the wall of Vault 51 was a sign reading, Unseen Securities, Magical Alarms, Wards, and Hexes. I guess a place like this needed the best security around. One of the vaults grabbed my attention more than the others. Vault 51. 
Whereas most of the vaults were open, this one was sealed behind a large oak door with the words Nil Introitus written on it. I once knew a man who had that tattooed on his buttocks. Yeah. Her April doesn't have any tattoos. You know, trying to tattoo under fur and all that. Plus, um, they're like something she's always wanted to try but never have. Even on her birthday. Because it's amazing how it's so hard to find a guy who will do that for her. This wasn't turning out to be one of my better days. Can we talk, or do I have to play that stupid game again? Business is slow, we can talk. Can you think of any reason that Mundy might have been hung upside down before he was killed? I'm just a true PA. I don't know everything. Now your pockets are a little fuller. Does this key mean anything to you? Yeah, I know what it is. It's a safety deposit key for the boxes here in Saturnalia. Thanks. Because another little bit of a rant about 90s computer animation. Um, a lot of it, like if you look at Beast Wars or that one that was like a Tron pipe game, what was it called? Made it by the um, Reboot. Reboot. They're always so dark. Can't read. It's hard to see anything. A lot of it, and this game's a lot like it. Except for places like this, we can actually see details. Okay, it's. it's in the 90s, we were okay with some of the uh, low polygon counts. Uh, disappointing, yeah, but they were okay with it at the day. I figured a really good private investigator could do a lot of painstaking research and work out which box belonged to Reagan. But I figured, hey, the guy's a dwarf. So I just tried all the lockers on the bottom row. It fitted into box 39 like a glove. Eventually. But the key don't fit! Inside was an envelope and a bracelet with carved wooden charms. The plot thickened, and you could already stand a spoon up in it. Can we talk, or do I have to play that stupid game again? Business is slow, we can talk. I think this charm bracelet belonged to Reagan. Do you recognize it? Sure. He used to wear that on the few occasions that he gambled. And that wasn't very often. And when he didn't use it, it went in his safety deposit box? I guess so. He used to hang on to it like his life depended on it when he played. I gotta talk to the wizard over here first. Hello again, Warb. Luton! You're a regular in here, then? I guess so. I'm not. I thought. Uh, Do you know how. What? Your. Or. You did. Or. Don't you. It always seems. Well. It's a. Well, thank you. Uh. There are any of the golfers here. Uh. I 
If you're so unlucky, what? Uh, I I guess I feel that it. But the odds, of the house always. Let the here out. It does. At least that's a. Ever made a decision? Ever done? No. None of. So you were. I was. Once I got my. But you're still. I thought. Yeah. I work for un. Unseen. Yeah. We vary it. Are they expensive? Oh yeah. Hardly. Okay. Was I supposed to mess up the um? Do I have to go back into the guild? This mean anything to you? Hmm. What is it? I was hoping you could tell me. Some kind of charm bracelet, I assume. Is it like genuine? What do you mean? Is it lucky? I don't know. If it is, I might be interested in it. Okay, so I gotta go figure out how this is lucky. The thing is, I talked to the croupier. And then said that, you know, Reagan, a region, a region, Reagan, they pronounce it Reagan, used it. And he won. So why would I need to go do anything else? Is it where those, okay, how am I supposed to know that I have to go see Malaclitz for this? I need your help again, Malaclips. Hello. Does this charm bracelet mean anything to you? Well, well. It's a glacting carved out of serendipitous redwood from Uberwald, I guess. What does it do? It brings luck. Good luck or bad luck? Both. First, it brings good luck. Little snacks of felicitous circumstances, but sooner or later the wielder pays for any good luck with a massive dose of bad luck. A giant omelette of doom delivered by a mad god. Great. A mad god's omelette. Do you want it? Are you insane? Give it to someone who's desperate. If Malaclips is asking if you're insane, why is this still active? Oh, here we go. Have to talk to do this scene again. Can we... Wait and... Hello again. Loot. Oh, I guess they hadn't done that conversation before. I think this charm bracelet is worth something to you. Really? The charms are carved from serendipitous redwood. It's a genuine luck bringer. Where did you get it? And if it's so lucky, why do you want to give it to me? It used to belong to Reagan. And I'm not going to give it to you, but I might trade it to you. Reagan, the dwarf, yeah. I remember seeing him wear it at the tables. Do you think that was why he always won? I'm no expert, but anything's possible. You're right. I'm interested. What do you want for it? What have you got? I haven't got any money. Actually, I don't think I've got anything of any value to offer at all. I guess we'll just have to think of something. Okay, why did I have to go to Malaclitz? Should I just turn off the uh, mouse tracking for April at this point? <laughs> I mean, the Croufier talks about Reagan wearing it. What up? Talked about Reagan wearing it, wearing it, wearing it. So, shouldn't that have activated this conversation right here? Sit so, uh, up. Ah, that. Back up again. I uh, have to go to the Temple of Small Gods? Uh, no, poor thine, not at all. I have an idea of what you can trade me for the bracelet. Go on. You work for Unseen Securities, right? Yeah. Well, I need to get into Vault 51 under the Guild of Archaeologists, and you can help me. No. No. That's a bad idea. I could get into serious trouble. Face it, Warb, your life's a mess. You've got nothing to lose. But if this charm bracelet is as good as it seems, it could make a world of difference to you. 
Whoa, if they traced a break-in back to me, my life wouldn't be worth living. In the first place, no one is going to know I broke in. And in the second place, there's no reason they need to trace it back to you. And in the third, your life is already not worth living. What difference is this going to make? Oh, maybe you're right. All right, I'll do it. How do I switch off the security system for Vault 51? I don't know what their watchword is, but all the unseen security systems have a back passage. What's that? It's a way to switch them off that only we know about. What is it? You'll have to find the rune panel. What's it look like? It's a small panel with runes marked on it. You touch the right runes in sequence to switch it off. What's the sequence for the back passage? Give me the bracelet first. Here you are. Now, what's the sequence for the back passage? Whatever the runes are on the panel, make an X starting in the top left and finishing in the bottom left. That's the back passage. A pleasure doing business with you, Warb. You won't tell anyone about this, will you? Don't worry. I'm feeling honorable today. Yeah, only now just noticed the, uh, pull and mess up thing I did up there. I had part of the grid pattern covering up. The one I was, I kept looking up there going, Is it me or is there on, like, some... Something that screen list does not match what I was seeing on my desktop. Us two post was up in OBS, and now I figured out why. Oh, where's, like, uh, almost an hour and a half down the drain? Speaking of which, now we start getting into the, uh, into this act right here. A spoiler alert, you're about to see a video again. This time, I'm just gonna take time out, back passage. Looked nothing just like an X. Orb had told me, I made an X on the control panel. I just hoped he was telling the truth. Yeah, I've watched a few, um, I don't theme scenes, and um, that sound actually happened. The rune panel was probably a better place to use the back passage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, long. Some ideas for <laughs> Okay, I got it just a couple minutes left in this playthrough. Vault 51. I couldn't deny it. It made a big impression on me. Not quite as big an impression as some of the traps on the way would have done, but at least the impression it was making wasn't fatal. Yet. <laughs> Thing Lewin's so small here, it's hard to get the mouse to hover over him correctly. Ah, uh, which see? The Rick Miscellaneous cases, the Monday case. Here we go, walk, walk, walk back, yeah, the left gate way around and around and around, just, this time walking real, just more for show, just to show that he's looking at all the displays and stuff. This actually looks like, um, not a flea market. I worked my way around the vault towards exhibit 3712V. The glass cabinet contained urns from Zorta and was labeled 3711 to 3713V. It was one of the most boring things I've ever seen. The fat urn was clearly a very ancient piece of pottery, 
It looked very boring indeed. The tall urn was probably a priceless antiquity, but I really didn't care. The small urn was as boring as the other two urns. Great idea. Shame it won't work unless you're a play tester or you've hacked the game. Is that a hint? Well, there uh, must be something hidden back there. Unfortunately, um... I don't think there's any way to hack this game. Or if it is, it's just... See, the, the, the Discworld games use what's called the Tinsel Engine, which, so far, after like over... 25 years has only ever been put in... Not DOSBOT, the other ones, the SCUM, SCUM VM. I slammed the grapple against the glass, but it didn't break. I had a feeling that brute force wasn't going to get me inside the cabinet. The troll's tooth scored through the cabinet's glass like an accountant through a rich man's wallet. I smashed the tall bird into tiny pieces, and inside was the golden sword. Finally, this was it. The artifact that Carlotta, Horst, and who knows how many other people were looking for. Frankly, it was a bit of an anticlimax. I expected it to at least glow a little, or perhaps sing to itself quietly, or hum with the stolen souls of a thousand men. But it just felt cold and hard in my hand, like any other sword. Suddenly it came over me that everything would go wrong. It sounds crazy, but it's true, so help me. I couldn't hear my footsteps. It was the walk of a dead man. <laughs> cold and hard and come all over me. Oh, I go wrong, yeah, yeah. Why do you think April dates women now? Go ahead and save this game? Keep it here? Overwrite? 